Hello everyone, welcome back to another Canva tutorial. In this video, what we are simply going to do is to be creating an epic, really epic match day um, flyer or poster you know, inside of Canva and everything is going to be explained in this video. So make sure you stick to the end because I realize most of you get to drop off. I don't know why, but please don't drop off at any point because this is an important tutorial i'm releasing to you okay. and um yeah so everything is going to be explained in this tutorial we'll be covering a lot of things which i'm sure you'll find helpful without any further ado let's jump straight into the tutorial on your home page make sure you're coming to create okay once you click on create this pop-up should show up all you need to focus on is social media like we have over here social media just click on it and as part of the options you should see this four by five okay instagram post four by five make sure you are clicking on this okay so i'm just going to close this and open this right so the first thing we're going to be doing is touching on the background so we just click on the blank canvas come to color and come to add new color because we are going to be typing out the color code okay so the color code we are going to be using is in fact let me move my case away it's d4 okay d4 e 3 f a this is what we are looking for okay so make sure you have something like this now the second thing i want you to do is to press r on your keyboard to add you know just a basic rectangle shape okay and just move it down somewhere here should be fine so after we've done this let's just change the color so come to colors just come to add a new color and I will just, you know, paste the color over here. So the color code is 040A2C. And that's what you also have to look for, okay? So now that we've done this, let's press T on our keyboard to add the text. And we'll just say, just type any number at all. Okay, so 25. And we'll just, you know, make it big. Okay, so I'll just position this here. Come to text. And let's make sure you are finding sports world. So once you come here and just type sports world, you know you should have the text showing up sports world over here okay so this is what we are looking for so we can just make it big and keep it here okay then we can also duplicate it and bring it here as well or you can use initials of whichever player you want to use okay so if i'm using young chalobah so i'll just say yc okay then i would you know just make sure everything is looking good on my design so the colors we wouldn't want to i don't want to keep it black because i think it just falls off so let's change the color so press and hold shift while you you know select both text come to the color and i'm going to be using this color okay i know i said i wanted to type it with you but just pardon me so the color code is a a c 6 e b that's a color code okay a a c 6 e b so now that we have this what we're simply going to do is we want the shape behind here okay we want the shape to be in front so right click come to layer come to show layers okay and just move the shape in front so you should have something like this so now let's duplicate this shape okay so you can click on it and look out for this icon okay which is a duplicate icon once you click on it it makes a duplicate of the shape and we can just move it up all right press and hold alt plus shift while you reduce the size of the shape and we can just place it somewhere here it should be centered if you're not sure of the centering <laughs> come to position okay and at you know once you click on position you should come to arrange and click on center okay so let's do this let's come to color make it no color okay then come to stroke type with the stroke type you're going to choose the line then the color the stroke color comes here so once you click on that we are just going to make it white now with the stroke style i wouldn't want to keep it at four i'll reduce it to two yeah something like this is fine so i think we're on track we're on track now what we're simply going to do is at this point you should have you know photos of the player you want to use if you don't have just in the link in the description box i have some photos you can use the same photos i'll be working on i've linked them down below so you can just download them but just make sure you are not selling these designs okay because these photos actually have copyrights and if you want to create designs you can actually sell try to get stock images that are free that can be used for you know these type of things in terms of like selling it so kindly keep that in mind okay so let's go back here all right 
So we will just come into my uploads. Okay, in uploads, I have a number of these images over here. So I'm going to be adding this one. I'll add this. I think I would love this one as well. And I would also want to use this. Okay, so these photos, we are just going to make them fit this um, shape we have over here, the white shape we have over here. Okay, so first of all, we'll just make this, you know, just crop it. And you can do it according to how you want to do it. And actually, the number is 23, not 25. But, you know, we'll, let me just do the edit. Instead of 25, I think I'll just make it 23. Okay, and we'll just increase it. And that's, I think that's cool. So we'll keep this here, just like this. And we have this one as well. So with this, we can, in fact, let me zoom in more. So we can see it better. Nice one. And we can also increase this and, you know, just position it nicely. Okay. So we'll also lift this one a little bit. Then we have this photo. We'll just position it here. You know, something cool. We have this one that I feel can be here. And so just make sure everything is looking good. Okay. Or if we want, we can rather, you know, arrange it according to how you want to arrange it. Okay, so just feel free. No pressure. Okay, and i rather move this like this. Okay, I think this is cool. And this can also come in. I would want the chaloba to be showing. So we have something like this. Then I have this image. You should have more than more images in there so you just feel free to use whatever image you want okay now i think what i'm realizing is that my ship is too wide so i'll just bring it in a little bit okay and we'll just have to do a number of adjustments to our image something like this you can bring this in bring this in okay you can crop this crop this okay so we we'll keep it like this and we'll also bring this one also over here and over here okay so we can see what we have at the moment so so let's do this press and hold shift while you click on every image you have here then come to stroke style choose the line reduce it to maybe two i think two is too much it's too thick so you can just make it one okay then we can change the color to white okay something like this i think it's cool then you can come back to the stroke just try to keep it center then we'll also make sure our image is centered okay now we can realize that the shape is a bit wider so we'll just you know crop it nicely just to make sure every Thing is cool and i think we have something good looking something good over here so i'm just going to adjust this and make sure everything is looking good nice so this is what we have at the moment the next thing we want to do is to add some extra photos okay so we have chaloba you know chasing a, a ball and i think this is an actual like cool photo we can have so for this image what we are simply going to do is to come into edit and just come to magic grab so once you click on magic grab you know it analyzes the image i don't know why the image isn't you know loading but as you can see you should have this loading if you're on canva pro okay then click on grab so canva should load beautifully and let's have it now oh my god i think it's done okay so you can just delete the background and let's have this so you can see what we have at the moment now let's add the you know the face and we are just going to divide it into half okay so that's his face and we'll just position it here a little bit and let me zoom out a little bit and let me just reduce you know the size you know something like this nice one then you know we can just have it here now i want to now i want to increase the size of this a little bit okay so we'll just increase this a little bit so it occupies this enough space okay so uh -huh, so something like this is fine then we can bring this down here then right click bring this image into the front so right click come to layer you can just do bring to front okay and instead of him facing this direction i want him to face the opposite direction so we come to flip and flip horizontal okay then i can maybe place him somewhere here like this okay 
So, so what we can do here is also to maybe increase the size of this a uh, little bit. Now, before we move to the next step, what I really want us to do is to make the you know the image pop a little bit. So let's come to the first image, and we'll just come to edit, come to adjust. Then we'll just tweak this a little bit. You know, we'll make code, which is the temperature moving to the negative um, to the negatives, the brightness a little bit to contrast a little bit okay then the highlights also a little bit just to push up the low lights okay then shadows i'll just leave it the way it is for black since his hair is black we'll just increase the black you know just to push the you know, blackness and the hair up then the vibrance will also push it up okay and saturation a little bit so you can see how it's now looking very good so once you finish with that just come to right click copy style and you know just click on any image at all you want to copy that to so you can see instead of redoing the entire edit this is something simple you can just do so right click copy style paste right click copy style paste and that's what we have so this is gone back to default you know with this image so we just have to redo it so to be able to do this what we have to do is to reflip because the magic grab doesn't seem to work when images are flipped okay so we'll just reflip it then come to edit and come to magic grab okay so as you can see over here this is what we have and i'll just grab and as we wait for magic grab to do what it does best i want to introduce you to canva pro just in case you're on the free version of canva so there's a special link in the description box below that can help you upgrade to canva pro for free make sure you're checking it out because some of these features will be made available to you so you don't have to you know be using other website which is just going to make your process very long so there's a link in the description box below that can help you get access to canva pro for free you know at least that's something cool i'm doing for you <laughs> anyway so you can see it's done magic grab is done we have it over here then we just you know flip it once again okay so the next thing we want to do is add another shape over here so we have the shape we'll just make it long just like this then what i am simply going to do is to add some curves so we come to corners and increase the roundness okay then let's change the color what we can do is let's pick some colors okay so use a color picker to pick maybe a blue from here okay then i'll make it a gradient and just make the second one a dark blue so we can just pick something from here and this is what we have but instead of the side by side kind of gradient i want it to flow from top to bottom okay and um, yeah, I think this should be fine from top to bottom. Then we are just going to move this behind Chaloba. Okay, so we come to show layers and just move it behind him. So we have something like this. Okay, so once we've done this, the next thing we want to do is to add some logos. So I have the logos over here. So let me just add them first. Okay, with these two logos. And let me show you how to get them come to apps first of all okay and search for this brand fetch so once you come to brand fetch logo it should load beautifully and you should see it it just comes with a b brand fetch okay so once you click on it you can basically search for any team at all so i just came in and just search for chelsea fc okay we have it over here once you click on any of these logos it will just add it to your design very easy and very simple so do that and add the you know the logos of the teams you want to use so i have the two over here and the third one which i wasn't finding over here so it should be in the folder you've downloaded for all these images okay which is um where is my uploads where is my uploads okay so which is the uh, fifa club world cup i know it's something that is currently happening so you know i just decided to use that so we'll come to bg remover okay and it's white we want to make it sorry it's black we want to make it white so let's come to edit come to adjust then just scroll down you would see color okay in this area what you need to do is to click on invert once you click on invert it will just you know give the opposite color which is white opposite of black is white so that's what you'd have over here okay then let's just arrange everything beautifully you know just like this and bring this here and we can have the logos 
of the clubs bigger over here and we can also make this one bigger okay and i can let this one go behind chaluba okay but make sure everything is centered that's one of the things you should always look out for that everything is centered now that we have this what we can simply do is you know to add our text which is the match day text but before we do that i'm realizing over here that because we did a copy paste style all the border lines for these images are gone so let's just do it quickly okay so select everything then we come to the stroke style and we'll just keep it to two okay and then we'll change the color to white okay so this is what we have at the moment and we'll move chaloba up a little bit i think maybe we should even reduce the size of him also now that we've done this the next thing we just have to do okay so now let's add the text press t on your keyboard and we can just put this here change the font type okay we just want to use something that's actually like interesting so i'll just go back and i'll use above the beyond okay so that's what i'm going to use and i'll just say match the for the color i'm going to keep it you know the dark blue we have over here and i think i have my caps on so let me just retype it quickly match day so you can have just everything typed in full match day or you can simply just do match and the day can be all caps okay all caps but we can change the the font okay so we can use maybe poppins or any font at all you want to use so i'll just say match day and i can just place it over here and even make it white okay so something like this is cool and i think yeah we are almost there but the last thing we can do is just adding some circles on the corner of this whole image so it looks like a frame you know so we just put this here and we change the color to white duplicate it and you can bring this also over here so duplicate it again bring this over here duplicate this again and bring this over here and with the name of the player i'm using young chaloba so i can just duplicate this and bring it down here i can just say young chaloba so y-u-n-g chaloba okay and i can just make it smaller just to make it look cool you know so i think i think this is very cool and we'll just add some spacing to let us space in to it yeah this is what we've been able to do i think it's beautiful if we want to make it classic we can add some light leaks or yeah so you can just see gradient leaks okay you should have a lot of them in here we can just go to see or and just choose any one you feel you know works best so we can add this one and just make it big and this is what we have at the moment i hope you enjoyed it i hope you also found it useful the name is benjamin Always remember there is no limit to creativity and I should see you in my next video. Peace.